I'm looking for what I would want to buy on the shelf, that eye catcher, that head turner. You know, when you're flicking through all the cards of Hot Wheels, what's that one that's gonna make you go, oh man, that's the one. I'm Nick Calderon, host of Right This Minute. We're in Phoenix at the Hot Wheels Legend Store. And we're looking for something that's unique, hopefully handcrafted, you know, garage built, that head turner. You can walk the aisles and you can say, yeah, that's a cool car, that's a cool car. That's a Hot Wheels car. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, my name's Harry Gerke. It's a uh, 1973 Volkswagen Bug. It's got a full tube chassis on it. It's got a uh, Chevy 2.4 liter Ecotec in it. It's very reliable, so we could drive this thing anywhere, and it's got tons of power. I mean, this thing would probably go over 100 miles an hour easy. King shocks all the way around, 14 inches of wheel travel on it. I've got an Android tablet that runs some of the car in there. It hooks up to the motor through a Bluetooth, and it tracks just for our GPS and everything else like that for off-road. A lot of thumbs up, a lot of pictures, a lot of people wanting rides. Yeah, my name's Mitch Ellsbury. This is a 2017 Radio Flyer. Well, it's got a 2007 LS3 Corvette motor in it. It's got a 700R automatic transmission, and it's got a Ford Lincoln rear end in it with the factory Lincoln airbags. Driving on the freeway, people go to pass me and they'll slow down. They got their, their phones hanging out the windows, holding up traffic, thumbs up everywhere I go. The kids love it and that's what I built it for, for the kids. My name's Tony Army, uh, and the car I brought is a 1968 Ford Mustang. It took me about 14 years to do from start to finish. We used a 2006 Ferrari F430 430, 4.3 liter, and then strapped a couple of turbos to it as well from Nelson Racing. The whole car itself is controlled from an iPad. All, everything's controlled from Bluetooth. There's no switches, there's no knobs or anything. So everything's either from my phone or the iPad that's in the central console. A lot of components on the car were 3D printed, skinned in carbon. So we tried to really bring all the technology up to date, try to make kind of a modern supercar out of a vintage Mustang. Thanks guys for coming out and judging this thing. This this has been uh, this has been a, a challenge. There's a lot of really cool cars here. So let's talk a little bit about what, what we like. You know my favorite car here has definitely been the, the blue car from Carter, one of the um, Oh, kind of unique yeah. builds that, that we've seen. I mean, he did so much work himself. It's just amazing to see the, the level of effort that went into that, that build. There's some cars with some good history, but there's some, some good family ties, too, to some of these builds. Yeah. So it makes it really hard. Hard not to talk about the family build without mentioning that GMC bus. Oh, yeah. It's huge, big wheels, stands out, looks cool. That thing was awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit about our finalists, right? The uh, Cantor prototype we talked about, the VW Squareback Gasser, that 49 GMC bus. Those really, um, I think, stood out amongst all the cars here. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming out to our Hot Wheels Legends Tour here in our Phoenix, Arizona stop. So good to have everyone here. Such an amazing turnout of cars. First of all, I wanted to give a sh big shout out to the Walmart here. Um, and I want to uh, give a shout out to our partners as well. Mobile One, Dickies, Mechanics, and Xbox. We're going to do the winner here, and I know that's why you're all here. After a lot of chat, we finally came up with the winner today at the Phoenix Legends Tour to be Ron Howe. Ron is the guy that built uh, the two cool Volkswagen Squareback. This is my 1971 Volkswagen Squareback Type 3. It is a twin engine gasser style. I uh, built this with me and my sons to try to have a better father and son bond. I wanted the carburetor sticking out through the hood because it adds to the gasser profile and the gasser look. 
I think the red makes it pop. Uh, the stance, the tires, you know, it's got fat tires. Once the other one was the interior. I wanted to make sure that the interior was custom made, but it was also nicely done and finished. Everything on the engines is all mechanical. It has points, it has uh, a condenser in it, it has old school coils. There's no electronic ignition on it anywhere. It is carburetors, it's not fuel injected. For me, it's a big honor to be, you know, chosen by Hot Wheels for what I built. You know, I think it, it might turn out to be a, a neat little car. Really happy with the car we picked here in Phoenix. You still have an opportunity to get selected. Sign up for the Hot Wheels Legends Tour. We hope to see you at the next stop.